Yo, what's going on, and welcome back to some more Elden Ring. In the last one, we followed that knife print clue that Fia had given us, and it led us up into here, into the Black Knife Catacombs, where we found that secret Black Knife assassin boss, um, and we defeated him and got the knife print for Roger, and he was pretty happy about that. He didn't give us anything, so maybe as it progresses more, um, he'll have some reward for us. Now we're going to finish exploring this area around that, um, and we'll see what that take or where that takes us. Uh, we gotta run past this giant stomping thing, I think. And we saw like some cool buildings and stuff up on the up on the ridge, so we should be making it there today. This guy like jumps and does all kinds of stuff. I hear another one off to the right. Or maybe that was just the sound echoing off the wall. Oh, so this guy does have things on the... So you want to do this by horseback, huh? You need to be able to get out of here when he jumps. We could actually do this right now. What the? Why are there rocks? What the heck? Oh, we knocked him down. I didn't realize. Okay, but this guy doesn't move very much. So when his position resets, we shouldn't have to replace our marker or anything. Some blood roses. So what was up with that second guy who didn't have things on his feet? Maybe I just looked at the wrong foot? I don't have one that I can duplicate here? Really? I thought all of them would do all of them. Maybe I'm not understanding something? I do hear another one, and now I see another one. Okay, now that this area is safer... This is where we came around earlier. Spiral Horn Shield. It's parry. Small shield of antlers arranged in an eddy-like pattern. If used to attack a foe, the shield's antlers inflict blood loss, once given to a tarnished warrior who cultivated close ties to the ancestral followers. Though the effect is only slight, it boosts immunity, robustness, and focus. Interesting. Saw another guy over here. Three of them? Did we insta kill? No. Oh, we're near a stake, but I don't know where it is. That's the weak one. Got him. I 
I dropped my block right then. Or should we get rid of the blessing? Probably not that big a deal. Still have the debuff. Hold up. Like 60 HP now. I guess it scales with your HP. If we go down, we're not getting back up here, huh? Have we been there though? Actually, I don't think we've been there, but it seems like maybe it goes around. We'll see if it goes around. Another side of grace. Also, we might as well rest. So I remembered that we could probably equip this all the way over here. We could also equip this. as well and then this one's probably like right on our marker right no just put them right there now let's go up here put a marker for this guy Guess we'll try and knock him down first. Does he have the things on his feet? Yeah, he does. I want him to jump first. There we go. bit close. There's a stake nearby to this too. Uh-oh. This guy seems like he jumps a lot. what those guys are doing. Came to investigate who knocked this thing down. Again, we don't have any that we can do. Maybe it's because we haven't used any? Is that how it works? But the first one showed it, right? Even though we hadn't used it? So weird. I'll just put the marker here and it'll probably be close enough. So now I want to see if that area actually went around. We gotta go this way. 
but it'll also go up. And we also want to go to the Erd Tree. The minor Erd Tree. I wonder where this stake is. I haven't found like the last two stakes that supposedly exist somewhere. I guess now that we have a Sight of Grace up here, we could just jump. But it'll probably lead down. We saw the other side of that a second ago. Mm -hmm. I thought I saw an item. That's weird. These guys live in harmony with the wolves. Interesting. Ah. Uh, there it is. Okay, that makes sense. It was on this side. Now I remember. I was just remembering incorrectly at first. Okay, hello. He's killing all the poor wildlife. Yep, good thing he's got ranged attacks. That's definitely cool. kind of just sick of killing the bears, honestly. We've killed so many with so many different methods. At this point, they're mostly just annoying. Just wanted to check and make sure I got all the items. As we dodge that. Mm. Alright, seems like everything. How do I get past the bear without it noticing me again? Oh, I just didn't notice. Oh. Does seem to be something? No? Nothing here, just a dead end path. Okay. What's this? These usually indicate a drop down. Where are we exactly? So this will take me there. Is there any reason to do the dropping down action, though? Sometimes there's like an item that you can only get by actually dropping. I don't see any items. Could we just drop anyways, though? We could just spawn at this immediately. Let's, let's check it out firsthand, rather than speculating. stop turning so violently. Seems like a bad spot. There we go. Where the heck are you supposed to go from here? Right here, huh?
Yep, I don't see any items anywhere. Uh-oh. That could have been bad. Another drop down, huh? Although, is this one even survivable? I don't see anything. You could almost jump onto this one. I think we should give it a try. Before we do that, let's clear out this little zone. No dungeons or anything. Yeah, I'd say there's about a 50% chance we just die, but we'll see. This one's definitely... That was the one where I couldn't find anything at its feet to clean, right? Okay. Then we'll teleport back up and do what we were working on. I feel like you gotta go one more level down. Maybe even one more level down. Oh, it ate my jump. My jump just disappeared. We had to go another level down, I think. There's a stake. I mean, I guess, but we're probably going to have to teleport back up. I don't know where this stake actually was. Yeah, it didn't let me jump for some reason. Okay, let's go. Let's just run to his feet real quick. He's got nothing to clean. So you must have to land on him. Although we need him actually over here. I didn't realize how far away he was. I do want my runes back. Are we gonna wait for him to wander over here? I suppose so. It's just gonna be another instant death and I'm gonna be sad. I thought we'd just get to try immediately again. It seemed like he was kinda hanging out over here, but is he coming this way? He's very slow. I 
have all of them had a tree like that on there? Can you pick up the pace, please? Jesus. I got things to do. Not really, but... So, I mean, next... We already went here, did all that. I guess we... I think we did this, so we just go up and around. We could also go to the Erd Tree. Are we here yet? Jeez. probably an avatar here and we know that there's a castle up here like a mini castle so he's coming I don't know if this is gonna work at all by the way But, like, he definitely doesn't have anything to clean at the bottom. Does he have stuff to clean up there? Near the entrance? I can't tell. Kinda looks like it. I wonder if you can do it with a bow? This makes me think even more that you're supposed to land on him. I'm pretty sure at that point he was close enough that we could have just jumped on. So we'll move this. I'm not really sure exactly where it's going to put him. Um, but how would I get further down? We need to survive as well. He was like 20 arrows. We probably could have just jumped on. It would have been interesting. But you can't break these anymore? I guess now it's non-interactable. Surprised none of these seem to have like an item in them. Okay, but this one works fine. So what's up with the other one? Hmm. Maybe only certain ones can do certain remembrances? That would be an odd way to do it, but... So first to the minor Erd tree, I think, makes the most sense. Seems like for that we go not this way. We had to go up a little bit more first. This way. Uh, 
There's like a gap between this wall. What are you doing? They're like flattening the earth. All right, well, there we go. Yeah, we should probably practice our parrying a little bit. Obviously, I'm not very good at it. I hear a beetle. stake here summoning pool looks like there's an avatar here as expected so we should probably kill all the ads first Flasks back though. Alright. Let's do this. going for me, huh? I'm surprised that our one guy is living this long. Like, we literally had one guy tank, while the other guy just sat range. And that works pretty well. Magic Shroud and Crack Tear. Lightning and Holy. Because, like, a lot of... A lot of the multi-enemy ones kind of have a similar strategy where like they're all either ranged or they're all melee so they tend to be around the same spot so if an enemy does aoe it kills them all but these guys they kind of split up right like one of them goes to fight melee one of them fights ranged which granted they do way less damage range so it's kind of bad their damage is bad uh, at range but it means that the second guy who's at range lives for the entire duration of the first guy uh, taking a beating. 
And then once the first guy dies, the second guy goes in to go fight melee. Um, so it's kind of like having almost an extra, extra spirit. Just because of how they actually have a strategy, which is crazy. But... And they do a little bit of damage now, but mostly they're tanky, like... That one guy was tanking pretty much the whole fight, he didn't really... Like, they can't dodge. He probably maybe got guard broken once. Um, so he was blocking a little bit, but... He survived almost until, like, the last fourth of his health bar. And then we still had the full health bar of our second dude, so... So we've been down there, so we don't care about what may be there. And then I assume those things that we just got are just physique things to boost our damage negation against those specific things. We'll check momentarily. Just want to make sure there's nothing here. Which there doesn't seem to be. Alright. Temporarily boosts magic attacks. Oh. It's attacks, the exact opposite. The crystal tear forms slowly over the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It can be mixed in the wondrous flask. The resulting concoction temporarily boosts the power of one's magic attacks, lightning attacks, and holy attacks. We kind of do magic damage charged attacks. Hmm. I still feel like what we got going is the best right now. We can maybe replace the this at some point, but... Is it perfectly those who have been born anew? Uh, I don't think it tells you what it does, because this says its blessing raises all attributes. This just says perfect for those born and new, so maybe until we actually get it, it won't tell us. So now we want to go around. We're actually making pretty decent time. We might finish this up and get to do the road. And then that'll take us to the bottom of the lift. Ooh, I hear you. Really, what a terrible reward to have this far out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, hold up. How do I get up there, though? I thought it was going to be self-explanatory. Now it just doesn't even seem possible. Missing something? Didn't seem like there was a path next to the herd tree either. Is that makeable? This is maybe makeable. kind of where it stops being as makeable. Although that jump was pretty clutch. Can we do it again? Ooh. Oh, come on.
so how the heck would one do this? Doesn't seem very possible. Oh no. I had to wait till the last possible moment to get that jump off. That's tough, but maybe doable? Uh, I feel like that would have had it if it was possible. But like... Any other place? This might be doable here. Get on top of this rock first. That should have made it. I just needed to line myself up a different way. Gosh dang it, Torrent. Torrent's a little bit hard to control sometimes. Okay, I don't know how you did that, but that's cool. Oh my goodness. Holy crap, he moves so quickly in the air somehow. Maybe we could just make it. I was gonna say from here, but. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Was there an easier way to make this? Almost certainly. But we made it. Maybe we'll discover the true path now that we're up here? I don't know, it almost seemed like they... Like they set up multiple double rocks like that. It almost seems like they wanted you to try and make it. From one of them. Bellum Highway. Okay, I wasn't ready for that. Of course. Alright. Well, I regret everything. This is chaos. It should slowly be getting easier as we go, I think. Flamestone. That was the least worthwhile thing ever. We have so much of that already. I also think we have enough for a level up, but not the button I wanted. Yeah, I was like, before I pick up the item, I'll check the map, find out where exactly we are, and then we got ganked. It wasn't even a little gank. It was it was a major gank, turbo gank. 
Okay, we need to find the Sight of Grace up here somewhere. It's not urgent, but uh, I don't want to accidentally die and lose being up here. That jump wasn't the hardest thing in the world, but still. stuff. So there must be Frenzy here. We could go along that outer edge. Just trying to figure out what exactly is going on here. I really want a Sight of Grace, but I don't know where to go for it. In the village? Definitely Frenzy. Frenzy Flame Village. Oh joy. Now there's rain. What is that noise? It sounds like either thunder or something is a Exploding. Oh, there's explosions. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Madness. Why was that happening? Oh, this is Sight of Grace. See, this is what I mean about accidentally dying? Like, if that had one-shot me, what then? Okay, there's our 30 bigger. I guess now we'll go for a little bit of endurance. I want to go talk to the statue, but I think he's just going to point us at the knife print cave. It just keeps going, huh? I... I'm surprised this actually works. I thought I was going to get hit by it. Stacks up so quickly, it's insane. So, the heck? This is awful. I don't know how we do anything around here. We need to, like, become immune to madness somehow. Which seems possible because that one thing was talking about like only people immune to maybe it was frenzy though not madness it's another magic troll You are tanky, by the way.
Okay, is this another one of these uh, rise places? I don't really want to do another one of these puzzles, but it looks like it's already open. Converted fringe tower. Hey, Eridition light the way. So last time we just had to jump up to the top when it said that. We must solve the puzzle to enter. I don't know if we've done the tower that correlates to this, but... Is this down here? So Michaela's Lily. I think it's on this side. I'm not sure we've done the, the tower that relates to this one. I guess we didn't really need to know that for the first one, I don't first one that said that. It was just fairly obvious that you had to go to the top. Didn't see anything at all when going around this. The point of this stone. Can we even get back up? I hadn't really considered that part. Oh, jeez. Question is, where is the puzzle? Or what is the puzzle? I just don't really know what I'm solving, you know? What was the other tower that we found called? Or was it here? Who's rise? Not that one. Isn't there another one? Somewhere. Yeah, this was Ortis's rise. I remember that. That's not what I'm thinking of. 
I thought there was another one with kind of a similar, this right here, converted tower. This is converted fringe tower. The solution at converted tower was just jump to the top, right? is how would I jump to the top of this tower? This? It seems like it's not gonna work, but I got afraid. close but I'm not sure to what can we do something like that somewhere else you can land in the windows kind of huh I don't even think there is an upstairs in this one it seems or at least it's sealed you couldn't just jump in if you wanted to. Where would I go from here? That didn't work. But even if I did... None of these windows are open. I don't see any way to cheat on this tower, except that balcony. Balcony is the only way I see to cheat. But I got no idea how you would get there, unless it's this. That's not right. Hold on, back to the other side. I don't think it's this side. Oh, but we gotta do this again. I hate it. Okay, we just made the full jump. That was probably stupid, but we made it. jump there. Uh, I don't see it here either. I don't know. This tower is baffling to me because I, I don't know what it wants me to do. I don't see a puzzle anywhere. Usually when it says solve the puzzle it's because there was a puzzle that it told you to do, which might not have been that clear, but finding the beasts was somewhat understandable. This seems a lot less understandable. I think we gotta mark this tower with like a quest flag. Say that we couldn't do it. Figure out what the heck is going on with this madness over here. Maybe they'll stop firing up the madness bolts at night? But that seems unlikely. I think you run along the wall. Ouch. 
Where's the grace? There it is. Let me rest. Now we're going down. We missed the tower. It seems like those items down there can't be acquired until you actually get the tower. Okay, we're one step closer. place called? Frenzy Flame Tower. Yes. Owl of Shabiri. Shabiri. wonder if we're gonna need that for the, the lady. Shrieks building up madness in nearby foes. Incantation originating from maddening three fingers. Releases a maddening shriek that causes madness build up in foes nearby. This incantation also causes madness build up in the caster and makes enemies more likely to target them. It's said that the sickness of the flame of frenzy began with Shabriri, the most reviled man in all of history. We stop this. Did it stop? Was these guys casting it? I guess so. Now we should be able to go get those items. more angry rats. Hold up. Make sure there wasn't anything around the tower. Oh, there's a wind torrent down there. So now let's go down the hill. You think that permanently stops it or just temporarily? I'm thinking temporarily. I would guess they probably respawn. But I would hope not. Ooh, a leaf. Now we can get those items. I guess if you were trying to do it from this side, you would go down here and then jump up.
interesting. Does this take you... It doesn't, like, throw you onto the other tower, right? That would be crazy. That one's a light jump, though. Anything else nearby so we don't have to go on this cliffside again, assuming they do come back? Giant rats. beetle. Oh, but it's just a mana beetle. Searching for items. Also, if there's a side of grace here, I might take it. This is supposed to be the lift, if I'm not mistaken. Dragon wound grease. Well, oh. I don't want to have to drop off, but. I think there's something behind me, I'm afraid. and I get stuck, like, in between trees. And now it's nighttime. So I haven't seen a grace around here. I only went that path because I thought there might be a grace off to the side. I guess we'll go the other side. at it. But I should rest at it just in case. It's there somewhere. Another path leading back to the foot of the Erd tree. Oh yeah, he's talking about the cave and ancient tunnel. Yeah, I already know. Only like 20 people have told me about that. He's talking about this right here. So, I guess we run back up there without the explosion thing going off because I want to check out the village now that the maddening thing is there. It's probably still mad, but and then we were supposed to get this road, but I don't think we're going to have time for the road because the top area was quite the adventure and we didn't even figure out the one thing. I don't know if there's something that I'm missing. It just didn't look like there was anything there. And it said there was a puzzle, which usually means there should be an imp statue telling you the puzzle, but I didn't see that anywhere. Alright, 
Alright, is everyone still crazy around here? Yep. Ooh, really? Lord of the Frenzied Flame. Beneath Lindell, at the very bottom, lies our Lord, Lord of the Frenzy, the three fingers who holds us in thrall. Inhabited by the six, stay well away. So this is where we were supposed to stay away from. So below what exactly? Hold up. Oh, beneath Lindell, Lord of the Frenzy Flame. So I feel like that's kind of like a covenant, like the bestial cleric guy and stuff. I hear beetle. Might be outside though. Frenzies cookbook. I don't want to let them do that. I don't know what'll happen. Wait, are those just regular knights over there? They're just fine. Seems a little odd. I might need to look up cookbook number two. I'm starting to think we missed it. Clarifying bullets is probably to get rid of frenzy. Or madness? One of the two. They seem to be related, but I'm unsure still. Ah, there's more rats. Sucks when you have to fight... Uh, like rats and dogs that give you a buildup of some sort. The easiest way for you to fight them is to let them hit your shield, but they still build up the thing if they hit your shield. Okay, so there's a beetle up there and there's a beetle out front. I would like to get both before we end here. What the heck's up with you guys? Are you guys frenzied? Yes, yes you are. That's gonna add an interesting wrinkle to fighting this many knights at the same time. Oh, they still get these? That doesn't seem fair. I don't know how that was backstabbed. Are you? I hate you. Why was that attack so slow? Oh, not allowing that. All right, I hate you still. You saw nothing. Are their eyes still glowing? No. Cabrera's woe. Wait, is that not a helmet? Well, then I don't know what it is. Gosh. Dang it. Figured it was a helmet. I'm still nervous of that guy right in front of me, but we seem to be getting away with this. I don't see it anywhere. We do have a death route.
A weapon, maybe? Oh yeah, we got this thing. It doesn't even do fire damage. A ranged weapon? No. Could be a shield, I suppose. No. Like, I don't remember having this. Did it somehow get bugged and replaced with that? It's not one of these. Oh, maybe it's a talisman. That could make sense. Yeah, constantly attracts enemy aggression. Disturbing likeness of a man whose eyes have been gouged out. Oh, you could start um, with this talisman. The corners of his mouth are upturned in an almost flirtatious manner. Constantly attracts enemies' aggression and is said the man named Shabriri had his eyes gouged out as punishment for the crime of slander and with time the blight of the flame of frenzy came to dwell in the empty sockets. Yeah, that guy inflicted the madness thing on me, so... I think madness and frenzy are maybe the same. So is there a way out of this village this side? There's a beetle. I think it's just a mana beetle. There's a ghost. There's another beetle. Are you kidding me? This is an important beetle. Frenzy burst. another. Oh good, now there's a Miranda plant nearby too. Fantastic. Yep, it's right there. Let's go talk to the ghost. See what he has to say about all this nonsense. He seems to maybe be hiding from the explosion. Ah, Lord Vike, it seems that you were no lord after all. Then where is he, our true lord, our lord of frenzied flame? I mean, he's beneath Lindell. We beg of you, incinerate all that divides and distinguishes. Ah, uh, may chaos take the world. Alright. How is this guy even sitting? He's like... bent backwards. So, maybe there's a side of grace up here? I would like to get that, assuming the frenzy flame does respawn. That way we could spawn a little bit further away from it.
Oh, really? This is a walk area? Invaded by festering fingerprint bike. Okay, that's the guy he was just talking about three seconds ago. I would like this, I think. Oh, you inflict... Oh, you have a crazy version of that. Alright, uh, we got some problems. I need to get rid of the madness that I currently have. Oh, jeez. I hate that because it just inflicts madness on the ground. That must be an ability you could get. More healing? Alright, I'll back off. You can heal. Did I cancel his healing or what happened? I think I canceled the first one. The second one was him finding out he's out of heals. Maybe. Bike spear and a fingerprint grape. Interesting. Where is the spear? Requires faith. Causes madness. War spear singed and blistered by fingers used by Vike, Knight of the Round Table Hold. Like Vike himself, it has been tormented by the yellow flame of the frenzy from within. Imbue the spear with flame of frenzy and leap forwards, plunging into the ground and setting off a maddening explosion. The skill inflicts both the enemy and the user with madness. And then what's this grape that we got? Is that going to be another eye? Eyeball of the night Vike, inflamed yellow. Seared with a repulsive fingerprint burn akin to those that marred his entire body. It offer, if offered to the blind maiden, it will lead her to the source of the distant light, allowing her to become a finger maiden. You really think she's going to eat any more grapes after what we told her? I feel like we kind of messed it up. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have told her. That must mean the next uh, place she's going to be is somewhere near here. Side of Grace. Church of Inhibition. Yeah, I feel like we're safe to rest. Because this is going to have a Melina. Oh, it's not going to have a Melina thing. But it's another church. Baker Tear. Finger Maiden, Billet, Finger Maiden Robe, Finger Maiden Shoes. We're still good with this. I almost feel like we could go to 8 and 1. But how often do we actually need 8 flasks? Not really ever. Okay, so, we now rested, so I'm sure we'll get to figure out if that explosion thing keeps going on.
all we need to do up here still, I think, is find the beetle. That's somewhere around here. But we do need to go down here as well. I just want to know if that still goes off or not. Doesn't seem like it. We're like right here. I wonder if you could have sniped them from a distance. I just didn't know what was causing it. And it was very scary, so... There's that mana beetle again. These don't look like uh, poison plants though. Maybe they're madness plants because they were putting out orange juice. Under siege everywhere we go. Oh, hello. I missed that one. It's madness, alright. You think you could stop for long enough? Oh, I got stuck. That's so stupid. At least it's not just an instant kill. Got it. Oh, I can't access the map here, but I think this is where we wanted to be. Gotta get out of here. Really, we were that close to this madness? with this tower? No. Oh, there's an item here. I didn't really expect there to be an item up here. Now I'm looking for items on the other walls. Yeah, there's an item down there, though, which we could have gotten probably by going around. Oh my goodness. All right, well. Don't want to just drop into there, I think. I think we want to do it from range. Okay, so I think that over there is the beetle that we could hear. Pretty sure it's a mana beetle. Yeah, that's a mana beetle. So. Back we go this way to do deal with those rats. And then we should be done with this stuff. Didn't get to do the road. But we'll just do that next time. I mean, we did make it to the end of the road, which is kind of funny, but... I wonder. Really, I missed? What 
Oh, he took out a lot of his health at the start. That was nice. Oh, whoops. Thought there was another rat here. I guess not. That is not worth it whatsoever. I need to stop making these basic plants that you can find anywhere that has frenzy. Uh, purple item. So. What could we have missed? I mean, we ran over here. So I think we got everything. Still don't know how to do that. Other than that, I think we did a good job. There's like this weird side path here that we might have to go down. But it didn't seem like this respawns, so we're safe to do whatever in this area now. Huh. So yeah, I think next time we're going to start with the road, go all the way up to here. And then we'll go from here... We started this area, but we didn't do anything in it, so we'll have to figure that out. Go up into here. Then we'll go up into here, that way. And then I don't know if we'll have figured out how to get up to here yet or not. That'll be a question for when we get there, I guess. Anyways. Uh, oh, I meant to teleport to where we were going next. So hopefully, Bok is still here, right? Oh, there he is. And we never did find where that dude went that we gave the key to. Maybe I should look him up. I don't remember what his name is. He might be a little bit difficult to look up. I'll try and figure that out. Um, Anyways, that's going to do it for this one. Um, wasn't really expecting that place to be as scary as it was, but we got to figure it out, and now it's not as scary anymore. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.